deviation tolerance method. Let's go and set a deviation tolerance method. First we're going to go up into our annotate tab. Then we're going to go to our dimensions panel. We're going to go down, hit the dimension styles. I click on dimension styles and I'm going to modify my mechanical dimension style. I'm going to change it over to deviation. In the deviation, the first method I'm going to do is I'm going to set the top one to be two thousandths of an inch in the upper value. In the lower value, I'm going to set the five thousandths of an inch. All right, I'm going to say OK and close. Now, when I pick on a dimension, I'm going to choose this one here. You'll see I get the basic dimension over here, the, the, the measured value of the dimension, and I get a plus two thousandths of an inch minus five thousandths of an inch. Let's go and change this. I'll go back into my dimension style to my mechanical. I'm going to modify it and I'm going to change my top value to be zero. Okay, so I'm just going to key in zero here and I'll leave the bottom with five thousandths. I'm going to apply that by saying OK and I'm going to close this. Now I'm going to place a dimension in over here. I'm going to select this line. I'm going to go up. And you'll see now it reads the top values plus zero and the bottom value is minus five thousandths. So here we have an unequaled um, tolerance. And over here uh, with a zero tolerance. And over here we have an unequal tolerance that we specify. So it's an unequal bilateral tolerance over here, and over here it's a unilateral tolerance. Okay, so either method here um, we can we can make either style we want. Basically, what we're saying is that we can't make it any larger, but we can make it a little smaller. And over here we can't make it any larger; we can make it a little smaller. Okay. Um, so remember that it changes all the dimensions when we have that dimension style. It will change all those dimensions over here. So I would have to have two different styles if I had to have one of each. Okay.